All right, good morning. My name is Mike Agnew. This is for uh, the video summary assignment for SPCE 683-638. Um, so what I chose to do my research on was the experimental design, which is uh, in the Visi prep is something that I scored pretty low on. So I wanted to read some research and take some notes and here's what I got. So the single subject experimental design, it's the most common that we use in ABA. Um, and I understood that going in to the test prep, but I struggled uh, with some of the nuance and everything within, within I guess, the umbrella of the experimental design. Um, so a lot of what was covered in the research that I found was, you know, reversal, multiple baseline, multiple probe, alternating treatment, changing criterion, and so on. Uh, so what I believed I struggled with in the past was interpreting the graphs. So reading the graphs and understanding what design was being used, that was a struggle for me. Um, so just the visual representation, so which is which and kind of deciding what's, what the data is saying and things like that. And I feel like I have a better understanding of it now. Uh, so the goal of the design is to, you know, we want to prove the experimental control. Um, the individual, you know, is basically serving as the control for these intervent or the control, and then the individual versus the intervention. Um, so the reversal baseline, I'm sorry, the reversal withdrawal, you know, it's baseline, and then the treatment one, and then baseline two, treatment two. Um, so that's, I felt like I had a pretty good understanding of, of that as far as interpreting the data. Um, the visual representation of the data, you know, what you're looking for, you want to see a, a steady baseline and an increase, um, an increase in the behavior following that treatment. So you want to see an, an upward trend. Um, let's see. Now for me, knowing what the data shows, knowing that control exists or doesn't exist and things like that is a focus um, in the research that I wanted to to get across as I, as I read up on some of these journal articles and, and uh, some other things like that. So the visuals that I found in some of the research greatly helped my understanding, you know, just in, in our textbooks too. Um, so my struggle with the understanding of which design model to use for different circumstances was, you know, something too, you know, do you use multiple baseline to use alternating treatment design um, and so on. So I'm going to break some of those down to just kind of clearly express more of an understanding of it now. Uh, so the alternating treatment design, um, you know, you have your control found if the data points don't overlap in that graph that you're looking at. Um, there's no withdrawal needed for that one. Uh, the changing criterion design, um, you know, you're not necessarily teaching a skill when you use that design. And uh, the more time the criteria changes, um, I understand now that that's when the control exists. Um, so yeah, overall, I think, uh, you know, experimental design is obviously very important. And I think I have a better understanding of it now. And thanks to the, uh, the test prep and, you know, doing my own kind of research in this, it's been very helpful you know I found a I think I submitted four I know the assignment called for three but I found four articles that I kind of got into that uh, really broke it down for me and, and I tried to break it down for you and just kind of basic terms because that's how my brain works you know kind of understanding the big picture and then bringing it down and applying it to uh, to what we're doing here and what we're doing in ABA um, hope that helps uh, thanks a lot and enjoy your evening.